Alright, so we're gonna start building the walls now, and we're gonna start with the two straightaways. So what we're gonna use for that is one of these guys here. And we're going to angle that in, and you're gonna want that to be at least, I would say, 20 degrees more than the actual track surface. So we're gonna get it kind of lined up. And then, oops. Angle it in. So this would be 90 degrees. So we're gonna want that 20 degrees at least angled in, which would be 110. And then sink it down. about right there once you have that one set you could test it just for the height make sure that it's good for the car which this looks pretty good um, so we'll go ahead and set the other one So we'll go ahead and sink this down. We're going to need it to be the same height as the other one, so we're going to have to take note of where the other one's at and then sink this one down according to. So if you notice, this blue star is sunk down just about until the sides. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here just like that. Now we're going to pan out so we can get a better overall view. No, nope, we don't want to do that one. We want to slide it over. Is that venomous? Alright. So, uh, I've went ahead and started. Um, I'm just trying to do as much as I can before Reston's playlist, which is at midnight. So, um, all I've done so far, I got these two straightaway walls in, so that's usually where you start once you get the track laid out, is you do the straightaway walls, which are in now, which you could probably see, and basically you're just lining them up where these black stripes end, the last black stripe in the turn on each side, turns one and three, you'll put the edge of the wall there, edge of the wall there, same on the other side, and then you're sinking them down you know until they're about a car you know height wise this one they're a little high you know I probably could have sunk these down a little bit more but it's all good yep so what you want to do is my general rule of thumb is to to sink them in to angle them in I should say at least 20 degrees more than the track surface so if your track is at 3 degrees you're gonna wanna angle them in at 23 degrees um, you know that's just generally the guideline there so if you have a you know a 20 degree bank track then you wanna angle those walls in at 40 degrees so I, I do the two straightaway walls first and then I just pick a turn we'll start over here 
Hey, what's up, Taylor? Yes, I still do have those props. I do, I do, man. I've built a lot of jobs since you've been on, man. Check them out. So, a track this size, uh, I'll go ahead and use 1x4s. Um, oops. You know, so the smaller block that you use here, whether it's a 1x3, a 1x2, or a 1x5, or a 1x4, you know, it, it, it really... It doesn't matter. I guess it all depends on you as a creator what you want. So the smaller block you use, the better radius you're going to get. It's going to give you more of a circular wall. Um, the bigger block, like a 1x5, it's going to be more blocky angles. So if I was to sink this down, it'd be like angle, 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 angle. Um, you know, so a 3 is a good, a good one too. Um, that gives you kind of a good medium. So we'll go ahead and we'll use that, I guess. So the way I start is I start with it down here on the flat. I angle it before I put it up where it needs to be. So this tracks at five degrees. So here's 90, which would be straight up and down. We don't want. So we got to go at least 20, which would be 70. And then the tracks at five degrees. So we'll go minus five more, which would be 65. So 65 degrees will be the wall angle the whole way around this track. So what you do is you line it up right to that white line. So that's kind of the guideline. So you just kind of do that. You could mess around with this angle a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you could cut out some of the white line if needed. Um, so once I have it pretty much lined up, I go into position lock it in and sink it down once it is the same height over here and it's good over here let's set it now I'll go to the next piece and I'll change the color blue okay go back in the advanced options we already know the angle needs to be 65 so we'll go to 65 bring it up here We'll turn it a little bit, bring it in, position, we'll sink it down. And at this point, what you're looking for, see how it kind of makes, once you have it perfectly lined up, see how it makes that little bow tie right there? that's what you want so you're gonna want that the whole way around this turn the more equal you know these bow ties look the better the turn radius is gonna be so you lock that in come back down change color back to red and the reason I change color it's just easier to see when you're placing it back to this back to 65 and it's just rinse and repeat at this point a turn this size, it'll take about 12 pieces to complete. So we'll go ahead and we'll sink it just about like that. So what you're looking for here is, you know, the white line again. So you want this side, the right side of it to match up with the wall that it's locking into. And the left side, you want to be on that side of the white line. So when you lock in the next piece, that it goes in the same way that this piece did. Alright, so right here we're a little uneven, so what we'll do is we'll go down to this value, slide it over till it matches, just like that. Now I understand it's a little bit different than this one, but as long as these two pieces match, and it looks like a bow tie, whether it's small or little, it, it'll work. Alright, so we'll go back down, switch back to blue, kind of turn it a little bit, line it up. All right, advanced options, rotation, 65 degrees. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat.
So this is the point of the build where I usually lose my mind because it's like so monotonous. I'm like, oh my god. And I just want to get it done. So I kind of usually try to just fly through this part. This is my least favorite part of the build right here is the freaking walls. But it's... Oh shit, I fucked that one up. Yep, so after the walls, uh, yeah, it's basically just pit roads. Yeah, I fucked that one up because I got off track. And I did it again. <laughs> but yeah, it would just be pit road. Um, this one here, see, short track's the problem is pit road is always tough because short track. Um, there's just not a lot of room to put a pit road. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do that next just so I could show you. Alright, so. About there. But as you can see, that's kind of the gist of the walls there. And you just keep going around until, you know, you would hit the sod and it locks in. Takes some time. Highly annoying. Uh, pit Road here. Eh, there's a few different options. Um, option A is you could go into Stunt Track and go into the one that I like to use is chicane small so if you take this and you flip it over well, it's gonna be the right and you flip it over and then you bring it over here like this go into advanced options what you want to do here is sink it down so it's like So, and then you know, kind of change this rotation a little bit. And it, all we're doing here is it gives it this little gap right here um, that the cursor is on. This little gap is a big difference when the track is done and you could change this color. It gives a different, you know, different look to it. Pit Road looks a little different. Alright, so we'll lock that one in, and then you take, so that was a chicane right small. If you take a chicane left small, and do the same thing. It kind of gives you a natural pit road. And then you sink it down. So we're a little off here, so that's why it looks funny. There we go. Alright, so we're still a little offline here. So you go in, you move it, smush it in a little bit. So there's your pit road. Um, so at this point, like it's a little offline, like technically it should be slid to the left a tad bit, um, you know. So what we could do to do that easy without having to do a lot of work is just create a template. Templates are going to be your friend. Um, the more you use them, the easier it is. So to make a template, you just set something by it, like a block. You go to template. Go to create. 
create new template. Select this prop first, select this one, and select this one. Save template. Okay, once you have it saved, you could delete these props. Then, just go ahead and, and use your template. There you go. And now you can move it wherever you want and center it. So, what we're looking for is something like... That. So now it's in the center of the straightaway. Um, there's no question where pit road is. You could mess around with it like this. Um, but obviously we want it right about like that. So set it. Then you could delete this stupid little block. Boom. Okay. And now to make it a true pit road, it needs wrenches. So you go to race details, change it to GTA, go to placement. Go to pickups, switch it to special, and then you could place these little wrenches in the squares. So wrench, 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 wrench. Okay, and then we'll set some slow strips down in there so it actually slows people down. I like to use these ones because they're the widest. So because this pit road's so small, we're going to have to do this a little wonky. You don't want them too close to the track either in case somebody gets hit down there. I'm going to actually use one of these ones. It's going to fit better. A Bristol-like pit road, Taylor? Eh. I'm just trying to teach the basics right now, man. That's a little advanced for what I'm trying to do right here. I get what you're saying though, it would work better. So that's basically the guts of Pit Road. Um, you know, we'll throw up. It looks like shit from up here. <laughs> uh, but what we'll do is we'll throw some more slow strips in and it'll kind of tie it in more. So we'll throw one right here and then one right here ish all right so that's basically your pit road so we'll just keep going on turn for now we got about 15 minutes Any uh, questions or anything so far, Fenders? Yeah. Yeah, the hardest thing is, uh, you know, tying in transitions sometimes are tough, but I would recommend just starting out with the same banking all around for for the first track and then uh you know once you build one of those you have a good idea of everything else and then maybe build one that's like kind of easy like a three degree banking to like a zero degree straight away so the rule of thumb is like every three degrees you need a transition so if you're going from like 
you know, let's say Bristol, it's like 30 degrees to 15 degrees. You're going to need like one, two, three, four transitions at minimum. Those are the tracks that are just insane to build, man. I would, I would recommend not doing that right off the bat. Taylor, I could probably get you in, man, but you'd have to send Sleazy a, a long message <laughs> apologizing to him. You were not very nice to him last time you raced with him. Spear Taylor used to be in R Mob, and I used to hold an event when I was in R Mob that used to combine both crews, Arma and I Rock. And Spear Taylor was very devoted to Arma, I'll put it. And he was talking a lot of shit to Chad Sleazy. And yeah, it would be hard to get him into I Rock because of that night and some of the stuff he was saying. But yeah, I honestly I would fight for Spear to be in here. I love Spear. He's he's a great kid. He's very loyal. He was just you know he was sticking up for his crew, which at the time was our mob. He's commenting on the stream. Yeah, he's watching. No, no, he's not there. He hasn't been online for a while. Well, when you get your PS4 going, Taylor, you let me know and we'll work on getting you in, man. First thing you're going to have to do is talk to Sleazy and definitely get an apology out there. That's step one for sure. done with this fucking turn. Yeah, it's all basically decorations at that point. Um, you know, just looking at this track, the things that I would try to... Well, first thing you want to do is like you test it so you look at it from like the car perspective um, so when it catches up you'll see like this is what you're gonna see in the race so you know you got all these buildings in the background coming over here on the left side you got great views like that hillside and all that that's all that's beautiful like you want to leave that just like that no reason to cover that up that's perfect the way it is um, this right side there's a lot of like open space air space here so I'm probably gonna throw the grandstands on this right side over here coming around this turn I'll probably leave it all open man leave this hillside exposed coming through here you know I'll leave it just the way it is you'll have the hillside and you'll have that space monkey sign and then yeah coming through here turns one and two I might throw a piece in tying these buildings together to make it look like one continuous building And then exiting turn two, 
I'll probably have grandstands along this whole straightaway right butt up against the track that kind of cover up all that shit out there so you'll only be able to see this hillside and the space monkey sign so let's see we got just a couple more pieces on this side it's probably gonna take one more session man <clears throat> mm. so yeah I do um, a couple tracks are just so short that they, they kind of needed something on the inside so the best thing to use on the inside apex that I found on a, especially a short track are those stunt targets I'll show you after this. Let me just do this one last wall piece. What do you mean? Well, it's not going to fit, unfortunately. It's going to take one more anyway. So... Yeah, no, I don't. I, we're we're in good shape on props here. We're gonna have a lot of props for decorating, man. We almost got everything done. We're not even at a hundred props, so it's we're good. Now this bow tie is way bigger than a lot of the ones on this track. That just you know that's the way it worked out. I could, if I wanted, you know, mess around with it and make it a little smaller, but it's just not worth it, man leave it like that do one more little fucking piece the last piece is usually the tough one because sometimes the the height doesn't match up a little bit from one straightaway wall to the other so we'll see how good of a job I did there which it looks pretty close not too too far off it's definitely a little bit off though um, so we'll go ahead and we'll sink it down just to see yeah it's just a little off so see how it's perfect on that right side on the left side it needs to go down like an inch so in that case you go here you go to local and it's going to be this bottom value and you just pick it up a little bit whoops wrong way and you kind of split the difference like so switch this back to world go back into this there you go perfect and that's the walls so that's one completed turn so we'll go ahead and we'll test it out anytime you do something like a you know a wall or something you just want to test it out so you ride up against it and just make sure you don't brick. Alright, this next lap we'll hit it at full speed. So I got no lift, didn't brick at all. It looks really good to me. Um, I'll try to bust out this other turn before this rest enlist. This is going to be a fun track, though. done we'll save it real quick see how quick I can bust out this other wall it's a beautiful little track though man I really like this track so far yeah 
Yeah, same here. What's beautiful too is they're easy to build. So this will be the same as the other side, 65. Alright, so we're going to have to change the angle a little bit. A little bit. There we go. Sink it down. Slide over that excess. Anytime you can get rid of excess, it's always, always get rid of the excess. Alright, first piece set. We'll see if I get the second wall built before I have to stop this stream. I almost fucking won the playlist last night, man. We almost had another $10, $10 sour power. Yeah, it was that fucking one o'clock in the morning. You guys killing me. It's too late, man. Yeah, no, it's dude, it's ridiculous. One o'clock in the morning. I like Fridays, uh, guys tend to race a little more loose on Fridays, like I don't know why, but the last two weeks for me has not been very enjoyable. But Last night was freaking ridiculous, dude. Ask someone to pull. What's that? No, no, I didn't win. Oh, yeah, yeah, Reston's I did, yeah. Yeah, I won twice last week. That was, that was good. Oh, I can't wait to get these turns done. You work tonight, or when do you? Uh, I was gonna say I, I'm. I might just decorate this after Reston's list, man. I don't know. I'm kind of anxious now. It's like almost done. <laughs> Well, I planned on doing the car dupe, but now that this is so close to being done, I'm like, all right. All right. Yeah, no, that's, I'm like, you gotta get it while the getting's good, for sure. All right, so this, the good thing about decorating is that it's easy, man, easy shit. There's, it's not technical, you're just kind of flying through shit. So the thing is, it's like, all you gotta know is, you know, the certain bankings are gonna change the track dramatically. The less banking you have, the harder it's gonna be to drive. And the tighter the radius of the turn, the harder it's gonna be to drive. Yeah? Well, what you could do at that point is set two track pieces. So you know how I set the one down at five degrees. At that point, you could just set one behind it at eight degrees and make a progressively banked track. Mm hmm. Well, it, it'd still be two props, and that's the problem. And that's why I, I've yet to do that until this last track that I did. I did so clock tower the one I just posted that's the only track I've ever did where it's two prop or yeah two props in the template it's two pieces um, sleazy's is like that yeah you could use two different you could use a rubber one and a pavement one 
you could you could do whatever man uh if you had the modded props you could do a wooden one and a rubber one you could do a fucking sand one and a rubber one um that's where i like playing around i like playing around with different surfaces like some people like just building the same track over and over and over um i won't mention any names but i like messing around with different props different fucking shit like i, I like getting creative with this shit man Then it was one of mine for sure. I'm the only one that does it. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not bragging or anything, but I got the only, the only sand banked oval, the only rubber banked oval, and the only wooden banked oval. And, and GTA Online. Well, you gotta get the modded props to get that shit. <laughs> but you could do a rubber one. You could do a rubber one with regular props. So for that, uh, you have to be friends with the right guy. Um, he's on my friends list, and basically you buy him an Amazon e-gift card, um, you know, for like 10 to 20 bucks, I bought him a $15 one, and once you send him that code to that gift card, he'll give you the modded props, basically, long story short. I've gotten a few people the props. I've gotten Magnus the props. Uh, a couple, couple different people. I, I'd like to get some other people the props, but nobody else seems to want them. No, he doesn't want them. He doesn't. He doesn't really build anymore. No, he's he's too good for it apparently. No, he, he literally, he won't do it. He refuses. He's, he's too good. Too good for them. It's beneath them. <laughs> Taylor, you gotta learn how to build before you get modded props, buddy. I'm so close to this. We're definitely gonna finish this turn. Valhalla, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it could be a little better, but it's pretty good for what it is. Snow one sucks. Yeah, that one's terrible, man. I need to redo that. It's too skinny. It's skinny, yeah, it can't. It's too skinny. Alright, so I'm barely going to get this turn done, it looks like. I got two pieces and then I'm done. That's alright, because when we get out of there, I'll, it won't take me long to decorate this shit. We got so many props to decorate too, it's gonna be fun. Usually, you end up with about 50 props to make this one pretty, uh, pretty fancy. We still need, I'd say, at least five more props on Pit Road. Alright, so... So close. We'll be racing this shit tomorrow. So we'll be racing this shit tonight. Magnus already has too many new tracks. He can't even fit them all in one make. This ain't gonna help. Yeah, there's 13 new tracks. 
13. That's awesome. That's why, like, I, I'm happy to show people how to create, man. The more, more people creating, the better. So what happens is I've shown a lot of people, well not a lot, but a few different people how to create. And what I've found is the younger people, which you're younger, but because you have kids, I think it's different. Um, they're just too impatient. So like, I don't want to mention any names, but like people, some people that are creating right now, they, they just rush through shit and much better if they just put a little bit more detail into it. Um... Oh shit, what the fuck happened here? Uh, I started talking and got all fucked up. Uh, but there's people creating that could be a little bit better with just a little more detail. And... So this piece, it's got to line up perfect or it's not gonna... So see how it's like an inch above this wall? and an inch above this wall, so now it's ready to be dropped down. It's OCD, bro. I, like most people, and that's the difference, is most people just set that piece right away. Set it. And mine, it has to line up, like it has to. So now that it's perfect, now I'll set it. So that's a completed track, bro. That's walls, track, everything. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll run it just so you can see. We're gonna change this color. A little bit. I want to change it to white. I just think it'll stand out better. Alright, so let's save it. Yes, Taylor, I read your girlfriend message. What do you want me to say to that bro? I'm sorry. It sucks, man. Been there. So again, we'll test the walls. And all we're looking for is it's not bricking. You're not getting any tire lift. So you hit it full speed. The front end got no lift and that's what you want. So that means that it's angled in properly. Um, so it's it'd be good to use for like a Sunday and nobody would get any lift. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Part three coming soon, later tonight, be decorations and completion of this track. Stay tuned, Taylor. I hope your summer gets better. And part three coming soon.